Hello, it's Cortland here on Sunday the 29th of March, Passion Sunday. I'm not sure how you're feeling, but I'm feeling disorientated. Let's put it like that, shall we? Sense of being slightly rudderless, um, loss of familiar landmarks. It's a strange feeling. I don't know about you, but many times a day I find myself starting to do something or thinking about starting to do something and then saying, ah, oh, but of course, in the present circumstances, can't do that. Going to see the neighbours next door, inviting somebody around for a drink. Going out for the shops, well, yes, but maybe just once. Just going for a nice long walk, well, okay, but only once, and so forth and so on. So many constraints on things that normally we would not think twice about. It's a bit like a bereavement, it seems to me. Getting used to a new reality. Things just not there, which you're used to finding, used to seeing, used to having to hand. And we're all in self-isolation. One of the new phrases that's come into our vocabulary in the last couple of weeks. I was thinking about uh, Julian of Norwich, Dame Julian of Norwich, I should say, who put herself into self-isolation. Very interesting that uh, when she was six, the Black Death broke out, and it lasted for two years before it receded. So she was eight when it finished. That must have been a very formative experience for her. And I do wonder about children, our own grandchildren, other children, what they're going to make of all this. When she was about 30, she fell seriously ill and was convinced she was going to die. And while she was sleeping, she awoke to find she had visions of the passion of our Lord. Today being Passion Sunday, this seems a particularly appropriate thing to recall. And these visions that she had gave her a very immediate sense of the presence of Christ in her life. Now she, of course, put herself into self-isolation. She did see people. People came to see her. They came to consult her. So she didn't cut herself off entirely, but nonetheless, she gave an example of how somebody who is isolated from the world can yet give a great deal. So I take some comfort from that. I hope that we all might find some way of coming through this appalling experience, this ordeal perhaps stronger, perhaps better, perhaps having learned something new, perhaps having come closer to Christ. And as a final word of comfort, we could probably not do better than Dame Julian. And all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of thing shall be well. Amen. God bless you, keep well, and keep safe.